What's going on guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a free gift with purchase promotion on your store, and how you can also add in a tracker onto your cart, so that customers can keep track of how close they are to earning the gift. So this is going to be what we're going to be setting up, so you can take a look right here. If I add this product to cart, we can see we have a tracker right here that says we are $25 away from earning this gift. So if I were to close the cart and add another $25 worth here, we can see that it would update and we can see that this order is now eligible for the gift. And we can see that this gift product that I set up here is now added to the cart as free and we could check out with this right here. So I'm gonna show you how you can set this up in your store right now. So in order to set this up, we're gonna be using an app called Monk Free Gift with Purchase, which you can get to by either searching this in the App Store or by clicking the first link in the description down below. And once you go ahead and install this app on your store, you're just going to need to open it up right here. So the first thing you need to do when you install the app is activate the theme extension. So if you come over here to Sales Channels, Online Store, Themes, and we open up our theme customizer right here. You're gonna to want to come down to app embeds and make sure that the monk app embed right here is active. So we can see it's activated right here. And then you just wanna click on save. And once this is set up, then we just need to create funnels to set up these promotions. So I'm going to clear out the two that I have created right here, and we're going to recreate them in this video. So I went ahead and deleted both of the funnels. So now I'm gonna show you how you can recreate these yourself. So we need to click on create new funnel here. And we can see that there's going to be a bunch of different offer types that we can use. So we're going to be using two. So we're gonna be using free gift and the cart value progress bar right here. So I'm gonna create an offer for a free gift right now. And we can name this offer whatever we want, but keep in mind that this name is going to show up on the discounts applied at checkout. So we could, in this case, I'll just name it free gift like we had before, but you could name it the actual gift if you want. So you can name it the product or whatever it is that you are giving away. And then we can choose down here whether we want the offer to be manually selected or automatically added to the card. So what this means is if you are going to have one gift and one gift only, then you're just going to want to have it set to auto add. But if you want to offer your customers multiple different gifts to choose from, then you can choose manual selection here. And this will allow your customer to choose between multiple different gifts once their order is qualified for it. In this case, I'm going to go with auto add and then we can choose our eligibility rules. So this offer is going to be displayed based on rules here. So in this case, we're going to make it based off of cart value. So cart value range, and we're going to change this to value is greater than, and we'll do $100 this time. And we could add multiple rules if we want, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple. So this free gift is going to be eligible and this offer is going to display as soon as the customer's cart value is over $100. You can choose the currency for the setup right here and you can choose whether or not you want to enable or disable this for gift products. So this is primarily for products that are already configured as a gift. And then we can set our time zone and you can choose whether you want to enable this offer at a future date or just start it immediately or you can choose whether you want to disable this offer at a future date as well so you can give it a start date and an end date just by clicking on these here and if you have both of these unchecked then this offer will show up immediately and it will stay showing indefinitely until you choose to disable it so now if we click on next we have our offer products right here so this is where you could search through your catalog right here and choose which products you want to show as the prize. So since we chose automatic, we can only have one product right here, but if we chose manual, we could have had multiple gift products that the customer could choose from. So in this case, I'll choose the same product we had before and you can choose whether or not you want to hide or show the variance here. 
and then we have the quantity of the gift so this is the total number of products that can be given as the gift here so if you only want each customer to just get one of each of these gifts you just keep it at one by default then we have a couple different settings down here so we can auto remove the gift if the offer is no longer eligible we have the option where customers can add additional quantity of the gift product to cart but they have to buy the other ones at full price and then we have the option to not add the gift again to the cart if the customer removes it from the cart so by default you're normally to keep all these checked but this is going to be preference and then we have the functionality down here so task after the user clicks on the add button we have the refresh the page checked by default and then you can choose whether or not you want to show out of stock products in the offer so this would be useful if you are selling products with inventory not tracked or continue selling when out of stock enabled and then once we've set this up all we have to do is click on save and activate and this will go ahead and be good to go so this is the free gift part set up but now we need to actually set up the cart tracker as well so just to show you that this is working if we head back over to the store and we'll clear this out and i'll refresh real quick and we can see if i were to add three to the cart nothing happens but if i were to add a fourth one to the cart we can see that it will refresh and give us the free gift right here so we can see that our first promotion is working but now we need to set up the actual cart tracker so we will come in here and create another funnel and this time we're going to create a cart value progress bar and we're going to create this offer i'm going to call this one just free gift progress and we can choose our design template here so we can see the preview so by default we have an icon or we can make it choose a flat marker right here so this is going to be personal preference in this case we'll keep it as the icon and you can change this setting for desktop and mobile for eligibility rules, it's pretty much we're going to keep it at products equals anything because in this case, we want this to show up for everybody. You can choose whether or not you want to hide this widget for ineligible products, but in this case, this progress bar is going to be eligible for all of our products. So we don't need to do that. So we'll just set our time zone again and move forward. So now we're going to click on next and we can come down here to milestones and we can see that the total cart value is going to be equal or greater to 200 so we need to change this to 100 because this is the level of our gift here and then we can see that we are going to provide a free gift or if you wanted to you can provide a custom reward and add them in right here but in this case we're already using the free gift so we're going to provide free gift here and then we could choose our gift in here and then quantity of the gift product we added is one and you could add additional rewards and additional milestones if we want so in this case we've just been setting up a basic one where there's one free gift and a hundred dollars but maybe you could set it up to where there's two free gifts so you have a free gift of 50 and a free gift of 100 you could set that up in here as well so now you can scroll down and choose how to reward the customers so this section is only going to be applicable if you have multiple milestones with multiple rewards you can choose whether or not the customers would get all of the rewards for each milestone or only the latest milestone reached and then we have these additional settings which are the same as they were for the gift and then we have our offer display settings so we can show the announcement bar which is this up here we can show the milestones and show the rewards which is going to be that right in there as well so we're going to keep all of that displayed and then if we want to edit some of this design we can click on the advanced design editor we can open this up and if we were to open up header for example we could change this text right here so we can see we are fifty dollars away from getting free gift i'll just put in like a and then this is going to be the message that shows after they qualify so in this case i'll customize it to your order is eligible for free gift the font is automatically going to match your store default. We can change the text color in here by changing this and we can change the font alignment and everything in here. And you can mess with the margin and padding if you want as well, but I'm gonna keep all of this as default. Inside of the body here, you can change the background if you want. By default, it's transparent, but if you were to drag this around, you can change this different color. 
you can edit the actual progress bar here. So we have the color of the unfilled section and then the filled color right here. So in this case, like I could change the fill color to match the color that we use here in the store. So you can change this to match your brand if you want. You can change how big you want the bar to be. So you can make it anywhere from one to 20 pixels in here. You can make it more rounded if you want, and then you can change your margin and padding here for the bar as well. We can edit the milestones by changing the color right in here for this, which would edit the $100 right here. The reward here is free gift. We could edit this text or change the color for that as well. And then the milestone icon itself, which is this gift showing up right here. And we can change the border color, the background color, or we can actually add in a custom icon if we want. So if you have your own icon, you can add that here. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this as default. So that's how we can customize all of the visuals here. And then once you're done, we can click on save and then we can click on save and activate. So now we have both of these activated and if we come back to the store, so if we were to come back over here and I were to clear this out and refresh, and then we were to add three of these to cart, we can see that now we are $25 away from getting the gift for $100. And we can see that this is showing up once again. And if I were to close this out and then add one more to the cart, we can see that it would update and show that we have the gift. And then it would also be adding the free gift to our cart right here. So that's how we can set up a free gift with purchase inside of Shopify in just a couple of minutes. It's pretty simple to do. And if we jump back over to the app, there are actually other things you can do inside of the app as well, besides setting up free gifts. So if we take a look, there's other different offers as well. So you can set up subscriptions, you can set up cart cross sells, quantity breaks, product add-ons, cross-sell pop-ups, frequently bought together, product bundles, one-click upsells, etc. So that said, definitely check out the Monk free gift with purchase app by clicking the first link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.